heartful hello to everyone and welcome to day four. Today I would like you to uh, experience the first exercise of the set what I developed. It consists out of three exercises and we will do for the next three days one each day. And then I will have a bonus exercise for you after that. So there will be two exercises per day for the next three days. On day seven we'll put the three exercises all together and well the bonus exercise you can always practice on your own so let's get started um, we just place our feet again hip width apart and your knees are slightly bent my right hand goes under the navel on the low down the end and my left hand goes onto the low back area where the kidneys are located and just pelvis anterior posterior tilt find your center of gravity point and once you have found it Slowly release your hands. And then very simply on your next inhale, also copied from the yoga tradition, inhale, you bring up your arms towards the sky. On the exhale, palms facing down as you bring down the energy and scan down all the energy centers from the upper dantian in between the eyebrows the middle dantian, the middle jiao, that we call in traditional Chinese medicine in the heart space, and the low dantian. So let's do it together. Inhale up. My arms remain slightly bent. And on the exhale, my wrists just very relaxed, slowly come down. Nice. So just do it now on your own pace and let the breath guide you through the movement. Inhale up and see if you can exhale slower, maybe even if you are a yogi, the ujjayi breath if you would breathe through a straw and contract a little bit in the backside of your throat as you breathe out very very slowly. So inhale deep, open up the lungs, and on the exhale, slow scan down. And just feel what you feel. Very simple exercise, very powerful exercise. Just for a few times more, inhale and slow exhale. See if you can relax your shoulders, your hands and fingers are deeply relaxed. One last. Upper Dantian. Middle Dantian into the low dantian, bring peaceful energy back towards the earth. Nice. And slowly relax again. Just observe yourself also after the exercise, how you feel, how your central nervous system may have dropped down, how you feel more calm, and how your breath feel more pure and full. Okay, so that's the first exercise, very simple, and very powerful. So the bonus exercise that I have for today is um, bringing in the magic into your being. For that, I will split it up in two parts. So first, I'm bringing my right leg out and my left leg stays back. So it's kind of like a warrior stand. So you cannot see exactly my legs, but it's probably just very simple step out a little bit further out with your right leg and bend a little bit your right knee your left knee is mostly locked okay so the first movement would be weight shift from the front leg into the back leg okay so I go into my center of gravity point zero 
So here I have 50-50 distribution in between my back leg and my front leg. My back leg is also slightly bent in that position. So now I shift my weight completely forward as I have 80, 90, 100. 100% 100 now in my front leg and 0% in my back leg. So I shift back towards the center, 80, 70, 60, 50, 50. And now I shift back towards the back leg, my weight. So I have 100% now in my back leg and my front leg, I can even lift. There is no weight in my front leg, okay? So that's the first step. Let's go back towards the center, 50-50. And this sense, so my right leg is forward, my left leg is backwards. I'm bringing my left arm onto the lower back area where the kidneys are located and touch here the kidneys. With my right hand, I come up towards the sky as I shift forward now my weight towards my right leg, the front leg, I'm spiraling in the magic and the stars from the universe into my being. It's a really beautiful exercise where we combine the physical with the visualizations. So these days there is a lot of anxiety and fear bringing the magic back into your being is a beautiful way to lift up the mood. I'm coming also from my center of gravity. We call it also the Hara, just under the navel. As I move from that point, shifting my weight backwards and forwards, and I spiral down, imagining that beautiful spiral that the stars come down into your being. So I would do that for two times from up to down. Because of time, I would just do it once. And once I arrive downwards, I will step back with my right leg. I leave my left hand out. And I step forward with my left leg, my right hand goes on to the lower back area and I would continue to do the same on the other side bringing all the magic into being left arm circles and the movement actually happens more from your center of gravity point your hara, and your arm is just supporting the movement as we learn to move from our center from our powerhouse Everything originates in that center. I will talk more about that center in the next days. Beautiful. Just one more time. You can take your time also spiraling down, bringing all the magic which is out there into your being. And step back out great so that's the two exercises for today I hope you have fun practicing them and if you have any questions personal message me or just make a comment on the video and I hope to see you soon tomorrow before you uh, practice these exercises, you can do always the warm-up that is also on the YouTube channel and I will see you soon stay tuned and healthy bye Thank you.